Hey, I'm CC Summers, and I have recently discovered that Ren is my new sleep paralysis demon. So that's cool. So right now I have one goal, and one goal only, and it is to never, ever have to experience what I experienced at the end of show two. That's about where my bar is set right now. <laughs> so let's see if how we're going to get through show two. It seems like appealing to the chat gets us to the next show. Because, I mean, duh, they're the ones who control it, right? And they seem to like the feisty ones. So let's see how well that works for us. <laughs> okay, I don't want to talk to you, bitch. Get out. Nothing. Get out. Get away from me. Okay, eat shit and die, everybody. Um, and fucking get it over with, bitch. So spirited, so full of energy. Let's see how well that lasts. Okay, this way kills us. And I can't just, like, fall into that sweet oblivion every time, right? We gotta get through this show, so... <laughs> just do whatever it is you're going to do. You and I both know you're just gonna do whatever you want. So stop fucking with me and just get it over with. My, my. Where did all this energy come from? My big dick. He pinched my cheek condescendingly. I'm glad you've mustered your resolve. You're going to need it. All right, get your goddamn supplies. And we're gonna smile menacingly at the camera. I don't know what possessed me to do it, but I lifted my gaze and shakily attempted a smile. Maybe if I appeal to them. Oh, I thought we would, like, do, like, a sinister smile. Like a kind of smile, you know? Like... Okay. Well, I guess that decision's made. <laughs> it's not like there's much of anything else I can do. Alright, let's get this over with. Yes, I think so, too. For another show! Yay! Good for us. <laughs> That's what I thought. Let's get you stitched up. Is it over? I felt as though I drifted in and out of sleep for days. But I couldn't tell. I kept dreaming about pain and teeth. Sometimes I would wake up and I would remember the room. The dark room. Sometimes there was food, but it was all so foggy and far away, as if I couldn't really wake up. Something was shaking me roughly. I reluctantly opened my eye and groaned. Be gentle for fuck's sake. Oh, he big mad. <laughs> I didn't pay for all that medical work for you to tear it all up again. Uh, sorry, sir. I tried to make sense of what was happening. I was dragged to my feet. Come on, showtime's in five minutes. Showtime. Showtime! The gears in my head started slowly turning and panic started creeping into my awareness. I looked down at my body. Sure enough, I was dressed in another lingerie outfit that barely covered anything. This one was nauseatingly girly. Pink, bows, ruffles everywhere. A top and bottom, along with a skirt and garters, clearly designed with fetishists in mind. Ugh. My legs weren't working at all, but that didn't stop the goon from dragging me. Eventually, we made it to the heavy door. The dark room. I was shoved forward into the abyss and pushed into my spot on the floor. My head was swimming. My limbs were numb. I could barely concentrate let alone fight them as they snapped the familiar shackles on. My wrists were raised above and clipped into place on the chain. I remember this. I remember all of this. I should be afraid. All right, out, out. I blink slowly. I should... The screens are so bright. Hello again, my friends. So happy to see you all again. And I have quite the treat for you today. Our lovely star CC is back for an encore. And this time, I thought it would be fun. His hand brushed over my chest possessively. 
if she had a bit of a cocktail before the show. What the fuck does that mean? And why don't I have a cocktail right now? <laughs> she's on a few painkillers, among other things. So she's a little out of it. What is this painkiller pussy shit? <laughs> Very astute and vulgar question, darling. Physical pain can open and close many doors. Don't worry, you don't have to understand. I'm only too happy to demonstrate. That's not. I've always heard it's better to tell than to show. So get to explain it with your words, bitch. Now I remember a few people asking for some hardware fun the other day. What the fuck does that mean? So why don't we play another game? As he walked out of view, I felt my head drooping. I feel so heavy. Why are the screens so bright? I jumped at the sound of a motor. I imagined a car or a train. What? He returned to me, searching frantically for whatever machine was about to mow me down. Most of you have seen this before, yes? That goddamn nail gun. A loud bang sent my body jumping as much as the shackles would allow. My pounding heart felt like it was going to explode. It's a pneumatic nail gun. Oh, we are well acquainted, Ren. And yes, I absolutely do know how to use it. Unless you're distracted. Then you set it off accidentally. He circled around me and pressed a cold metal tip to my shoulder. Do you know what a pneumatic nail gun is, sweetie? I looked up at him. I couldn't seem to focus. What does question marks mean? Just like a... It's like... I wavered in place, having trouble connecting words. It's like a parody. He leaned in closer to hear me. What do you mean? A parody of what? A parody's nuts! <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Another bang and a sickeningly tingling sensation. What? I tried to see my shoulder. The light from the screens caught a metallic tip and a tiny bead of blood welling around it. Is that a nail? Is it? That's right. I knew it was supposed to hurt, but it felt different. Without the pain, it just felt like something that wasn't supposed to be there, digging deep in my arm. No, squirming under my skin. Take it out, take it, get it out. I couldn't mask the panic in my voice. It's time for question two. He moved the tip of the gun over my arm closer to my elbow. What's my name? Well, your name is Fox. Fox? It's... you said... Aw, you remembered. But unfortunately for you, it's not my real name. Come on, you had to know that. But bitch, I do know your real name. Why didn't it give me the option to say your real name? He pulled the trigger. My arm was shaking. I wanted it to stop. It just made me feel them more. Under my skin. Moving under my skin. Please! Take them out! I hate it. I can't... Seems like a skill issue, TBH. <laughs> he wrapped his hand around my arm and squeezed, forcing rivulets of blood from the nails. I could feel every bit of them moving, scraping against bone. I couldn't help but scream. It sounded awful, like someone else. How about an easy one? I made a sound somewhere between a groan and a sob. I couldn't seem to control myself at all. Hey, hey. He grabbed my head and forced me to look at him. Pay attention, okay? Here's your question. What are the last five letters of the alphabet? V... W, X, Y, Z. Huh? I... Oh, that's definitely not one of them. <laughs> he got up and took his position at my side. I couldn't bear to look. He slid the tip of the gun over my other shoulder. Wait, I wasn't... I strained to make my brain work. 
Z, why? I can't concentrate. The tip of the gun caressed my shoulder. The sensation of the nails moving deep in my arm was making me feel sick. I couldn't think of anything else. You're too slow. I heard the bang and my body convulsed as another nail was lodged in my arm. Ugh. The nails. I sagged in my bonds, twitching reflexively. He was talking again. I heard words, but I didn't understand them. Is he asking me another question? He fired another nail into me. Stop. I don't... I can't... He's asking another question. I know he must be. Is he asking them or me? What's happening right now? Metal on my thigh. He's going to shoot me again. I thrash, trying to get away. Another nail. And another. Is he laughing? Wait, is that me? Am I laughing? I felt his hands on my face. Stay with us now. Can you hear me? I panicked at the sound of another question. Yes, yes, I hear. He barked a laugh. I don't have the nail gun anymore. I could hardly concentrate on what he was saying. I could only feel the nails squirming in my muscles, burrowing inside me, heating up my blood. Take them out, please, take them out. Why don't you take them out? Because my hands are shackled. Duh. I looked up at him, questioningly. Here, I'll let you use your hands. I heard the familiar click of the shackles snapping open. My arms fell forward like dead weights. The motion aggravated the nails inside them. Ugh. Go ahead. I can pull them out. I need to pull them out. Now. He's watching. I tried to lift my arm. It felt like it was made of lead. Trembling, twitching, my hand approached a nail embedded near my elbow. I gingerly pinched the head of the nail in my fingers. Just pull. Just pull it out. I pulled. The sensation of it slipping out of the meat of my arm made me lurch. I could feel it inside me, sliding, parting my flesh. Rough metal against a soft part of me that should never have been touched. I pulled blood and nail emerging from inside me, slowly, agonizingly slowly. Some insane piece of my mind wished I was in pain. Pain is better, simpler. Finally, the tip of the nail slipped out and I let it fall to the floor. I shuddered with relief and revulsion at the same time. Good. Now do the rest. I looked at him, bewildered. I could feel panic hammering at the inside of my chest. Why? Please, can't you? No. I jumped at the sound of his voice behind me. I gulped and tried to steady myself. I can do it. Just do it faster. I felt along my skin until I found the head of another nail in my shoulder. Fast. I grasped the nail. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I tore the nail out of myself in one motion. I crumpled into a sob as it skittered across the floor. Hot blood trickled down my arm. There you go. It feels so awful. But my arm did feel better. They're gone. I heaved a few deep breaths. They're just nails. Just nails. I shook my head and went back to work. I began pulling nails out of my skin more quickly. The sick feeling of them sliding around inside me was enough motivation. I pulled them for myself, writhing, pulling, dizzy, blurring. But there was another sensation. The holes the nails left started to feel warm. Warm and tingling. What are you fucking doing, Ren? I tore the last nail out of my leg with a moan. Then I slumped forward. My work was finally done. My body was covered in warm spots. Points of light, like little stars. I laughed to myself. What the fuck kind of drugs am I on? Clawed hands snaked around my shoulders to the front. The altered metallic voice spoke right next to my ear. You did so well. Oh, thanks. 
My head bobbed dully as the praise sank into my consciousness. I did... well. The hands moved over my skin, so warm and soft. I sighed out a breath and leaned into the touch. Feels good now, doesn't it? Are we, like, it seems like we're on shrooms. Or something. That's what it's... That's, that's the vibe I'm getting. It did feel good. That's what he was saying, right? Why don't you show chat all of your new little holes? Chat. The... The people? That's right. His hands part... God damn it, Ren, stop it. Show them. Uh... He felt so warm. I wanted to feel more. Like this. Stuart. He pressed a clawed finger over a bloody puncture hole in my thigh. It was soft. The heat of his finger sent an electric tingle up my leg. I stifled a moan. Some voice far in the back of my mind told me that was supposed to hurt. But it didn't. It felt so... I moved a shaking finger over another bloody nail hole and pressed down. Ugh. Stop. <laughs> the feeling shot up my other leg. I was starting to breathe harder. Perfect. His voice sounded so good. Stop it. I immediately shoved a finger into a hole in my arm. No. No. You... You just lost your damn mind because there was nails in your arm. And you're talking about how there was stuff in there that should never have been touched, but now you're going to stick your dirty little fingers into it? Make up your mind. Bam. Make up your damn mind. The blood was so hot and wet, I couldn't help myself. I jammed my finger in, parting skin, coaxing more blood from the wound. Why does it feel so good? Because you're on a lot of drugs. <laughs> Blood ran... Oh, gross. Gross. I guess. I guess. My breath hitched to my chest. I guess. Here. No. No, 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 no. No. Something isn't right. Fucking duh. Duh, something isn't right. Now you're gonna get all infected. Gross. I guess. See, didn't I tell you? There's more than one way to skin a... Oh? Nico M. has an interesting suggestion. His chuckle sounded like music. You guys are really in the mood for power tools today. Stop it. Is there a button? Is this a button on top of his pants? So that he can like pull them up and then put his tail in the little hole and then button them? Huh. Well, you know what I always say. Your wish is my command. He walked somewhere into the darkness. My brain replayed the words power tools over and over. That's bad isn't it? Yes. Isn't it bad? Yes! He returned to me holding some new object. Is that a... Is that a flame torch? Is that a... What are those called? A fire gun? It's not it. Flame... <laughs> You know what I'm talking about, like a torch, like a little, it's got fire in it, like a flamethrower, but little beauty. I froze at the sudden burst of light and heat. Nico says you're bleeding, a lot. That we should cauterize your little holes. I couldn't fully comprehend what he was saying. I have a little challenge for you, too. Do you think you can handle it? Me? That's right. I'm going to leave your hands free, and you're going to keep them down. I looked down at my hands attached to my arms, dead weights. I scoffed. That's easy. He laughed at my response. Is it? Just remember, or else I'll burn your hands. You don't want that. 
You don't know what I fucking want. Apparently I'm wanting some weird shit right now. You don't know me. No, I don't want that. My slurred responses felt automatic. Like someone else was speaking for me. A smile crept to the edges of my lips. That's nice. That's easier. I watched him raise the nozzle of the blowtorch to my arm. Blowtorch. <laughs> That's what they're called. Heat and light exploded from the tip. My eyelids fluttered, bewildered. What was that? Oh, it's just aftershock, like after effects. I thought it was Lawrence. An echo of the sun was burned into my vision. I couldn't blink it away. You may not want to look directly at it, pet. Fuck off. Not if you want your only eye to keep working. He laughed, and I laughed along with him. Yes, I should look away. It's too bright. The light flashed again, and I felt a blast of heat. It's so hot. I lifted my hand weakly to touch the hot spot on my arm. Claws clamped around my wrist. Keep your hands down. I gasped at the change in his demeanor, and for some reason, I felt ashamed. How did I forget? Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm not fucking sorry. Fuck off. His claws disappeared and another miniature sun blossomed at the edge of my vision. I started to notice a strange smell. It's burning? Light flashed again and again. The smell got stronger. Heat and burning, the little suns. Images of campfire started to dance in my head. My mouth watered in memory of things cooked over a flame. Cool air washed over the hot spots of my body and the darkness returned. How do you feel, darling? Oh, fantastic. Feeling great. Feeling just real nice, apparently. Whatever it is that you've got me on, let's let's keep let's keep at that. And how do I get some in real life? <laughs> uh hungry. That familiar fox bark erupted from him. Really? It smells like Ooh. Well, why don't you take a bite? Don't do this to me. My brain is like Play-Doh right now. And it feel I feel like I absolutely will. A bite? He gently picked my arm up from the ground and held it up in front of me. I realized the smell was indeed coming from me. Go ahead. That's my arm? Do it. His voice had changed again. That was a command. I have to. I brought my arm up to my face and I breathed in the intoxicating scent of charred meat. I wanted to taste it anyway. I opened my mouth and licked the skin. The texture was so rough and the sensation sent sparks through me. I feel like my, we need to set some mood lighting to match what's going on here. <laughs> Spooky red lighting. The texture was so rough and the sensation sent sparks through me. I sank my teeth in without another thought tingling heat, pressure, and even the slick of my own saliva. It made me crazy. I slowly pulled away a chunk of meat with a moan. Don't do that. As I rolled it in my mouth, I felt him press up behind me. I chewed and relished the morsel. I was so hungry. You're so cute. Again, I really, I don't understand their definition of cute. They adore you. They? Okay, it's not red anymore. My gaze settled on the camera in front of me. Your audience, don't you remember? I swallowed. Chat. That's right. They've been watching you this whole time. I looked at the bleeding divot in my arm. Something at the back of my mind was screaming. They love watching you bleed. They love watching you fall apart. All your hopes and dreams, all the memories, an entire life spilling out on the floor. Some of them are probably masturbating right now. Did you know that? I didn't think about it. 
I'm not surprised, but I definitely wasn't sitting there thinking, oh, you know what? I, I, I bet I know what some of them are doing. Something was dripping from my chin. I didn't know if it was blood or tears. I was shaking. They can all see you. I heard a faint click and the shuffling of him removing his mask. I shivered as his lips touched my ear. But only I can smell you. The screaming inside me was scratching at me, trying to escape. Take another bite. I... That's my arm. I... Fangs clamped down on my collar, stunning me to silence. Without pain, there was only the pressure and the vague sensation of tearing. He thrashed and pulled for a moment, ripping the skin apart viciously. I felt blood spill out from his mouth, still closed over my neck. Then I felt his tongue moving slowly over the wound. Don't eat me, you bitch. Why did I make that sound? I know this is bad, I know it is, but it's so... I squeezed my eyes shut, trying to ignore it. All I can sense was his tongue and his heavy breathing. I wish he would make up his damn mind with his lighting. He lapped at my wound a few times before he finally withdrew, panting. I sat there, still stunned, as he licked his lips and put his mask back on. He cleared his throat. He seemed almost embarrassed. That's enough. With a quick roll of his shoulders, he turned back to the screens. Well, who's ready for the grand finale? No, no grand finale, because that sounds like you're going to kill me. You came here for blood, and blood you shall receive. His demeanor changed again. I couldn't keep track of what was happening. The next little game is very simple. He circled behind me again. I jumped a little when something light fell on my shoulders. Wire? Not wire again. We already did this. Get some, get some new shit, Ren. It closed around my neck. A bubble of fear made its way to the front of my mind. He connected the wire loop to the chain above me. Well, uh... The wire tightened. I had to strain my shackled legs to raise myself enough to breathe. It seemed nearly impossible with my body feeling so heavy. My head was swimming. Here. Huh? I looked at his offering. I gingerly took it into my hands. A knife. They want to see blood, darling. Blood. They want to see blood. The unspoken agreement materialized in my head. Cut myself, and the wire goes away. Right? That's easy. Nothing hurts right now. I slash the blade sloppily across the top of my thigh. As expected, blood began to seep out from the wound. I looked up expectantly. That's good, but they want to see more. I slashed again with little concern for my legs. I could barely feel it anyway. No. Huh? Your belly. Your belly. Fucking get over here, bitch. Deeper. I looked down. Deeper? I touched the point of the knife to the side of my stomach. There has been... A disappointing lack of choices in show three, and I am not about it. I want the option of attempting to stab this bitch in the eye and getting violently murdered. That is my right as an American citizen. <laughs> it is my, <laughs> my freedom to try to stab this bitch in the eye. And I am very upset that my rights are being denied. Girl, don't you do this. Do not do this. No, no, no. I knew the wire must be cutting into my neck. My breaths were so shallow. It's like a dream. Just a dream. I pushed the tip inside, filled with wonder at how easy it was. I understand now. They want to see my insides. I dragged the blade across my belly deep through skin, fat, and muscle. Stop it. <laughs> I kind of want to see them too. I've never seen them before. Not a good enough reason to see them. Not good enough. Not a good enough reason to do all this. 
I didn't know if it was the drugs or lack of oxygen, but I felt giddy. I dropped the knife and touched the wound I created. My fingertips danced over the edge, then slipped inside. Don't! It's so warm! Yeah, stop it! <laughs> and soft and slippery. Look. I pulled a shape from inside the bloody fissure. No! The pressure and sense of pulling within me was so bizarre. Look, I... A cough interrupted my hoarse whisper. That's okay, I'll just show them. I pulled... <laughs> That's not supposed to go there. <laughs> that is the opposite of where that goes. That does not go on the outside. That stays on the inside. <laughs> I pulled from within myself and held up the glistening mass for the camera. Look. The wire around my neck cut off my ability to talk. I realized it cut off my ability to breathe, too. My arms drooped and my offering poured out from between my legs. I smiled to myself. This is definitely my best show. He's going to be so happy. And that's all we want, is to make Ren happy. Absolutely amazing. I loved every second of that. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm going to put um, the entire audio at the end if you want to hear all of it. And I'll like turn it up so you can hear it. And I'll turn my mic off so you don't hear me giggling over it. So you can actually hear the audio. <laughs> Fucking sensational. Sensational. This time, we're gonna survive. I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty good <laughs> about this one. Why don't you just let me go, Tony? He laughed again. This time I noticed his sharp teeth. You know I'm not going to let you go. You're going to keep performing. As long as chat finds you more interesting alive than dead. So maybe you should think about working on your act. Sleep tight. Okay. What's up, chat? Um, don't remember if they... Maybe they'll... I don't know. I guess we'll try this one. Aw. He cupped the side of my face gently. You know that's not going to work, sweetie. He leaned in close next to my ear. But I do love to hear it. Shut up, Tony. Alright, get started, bitch. Don't fucking touch me, he scoffed dryly. Maybe I shouldn't, but I suppose you aren't thinking straight. Pets don't always know what's best. That's what owners are for. All right, fine, put it back in place then. See if I care. And we're gonna be feisty. We're gonna try to escape. Ha ha ha. Okay, and then we have to do that one or we'll die. Do 
Just take it the fuck out of my face. It hurts. I know it's fucked up. My voice cracked. Please fix it. Please make it better. I started to cry. I know how pathetic I must look, but I didn't care anymore. He cut my face in both hands. Of course I will, sweetie. Oh, thank you. I'll do everything I can to make it all better. He touched his mask to my forehead in a gesture like a kiss. It somehow made me feel better. Something in the back of my head told me it shouldn't, but I ignored it. We always ignore the smart voice in the back of the head, don't we? I hope karma comes for you fuckers. Mm, we're gonna struggle a little bit. Really? Artem laughed far away, distorted. All right, then, let's do it. Do what? Do what? What? No! Damn it! Didn't even live through show two. Okay. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to say to this bitch. So, bye. Get up out of my fucking face. I mean, we know it's not gonna work. But, I mean, I guess we said everything else. <laughs> I looked at the camera and tried to smile. I knew it was shaky and weak, but maybe, maybe if I charm them, they won't. Oh, how adorable. He stared at me for a moment. Then he turned back to the camera. Now I was thinking we'd start off with, yeah, 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 you bitch. I feel like glue gun's the only one we haven't done yet. It's a glue gun. He leaned back and barked out a laugh. That's close, I suppose. Close enough. Not really. <laughs> Let's get started, shall we? Of course, I'm so excited. <laughs> I felt a shift, something pulling my awareness from the deep murk again. Something petting my head. Did I wake you? What is this hoodie? <laughs> Stop. My body was so heavy. There you are. You've been sleeping so long, I was a little worried you'd slipped into a coma. You would have liked that, wouldn't you? I looked at him, panic rising, but I couldn't seem to speak. Shh, relax. No show today. Those words sent a wave of relief through my body. I've gotten you all fixed up. Oh, thank you, after you're the one that fucking did all of this to me. Thanks for fixing me up. They couldn't save your eye, but it's been prepared for a prosthetic. I barely remembered my eye. I reached up to touch it automatically, and I recoiled with a gasp as I felt nothing there. Don't fiddle with it. It needs to heal more. That is so nasty. <laughs> that is so nasty. Something... Something about what he said. A prosthetic? Why would... Why are you helping me? You little dick face. <laughs> Why would you even bother fixing my eye? If you're just gonna kill me. Which is a valid fucking question. My voice came out as a croak. He looked down at me for a moment before answering. Your shows have been very popular. It seems that my audience adores you. They're begging to see more. But they're fickle too. You may not live to see that prosthetic. He chuckled softly. It's better to be prepared, just in case. I relaxed slightly and started to look at him more closely. <laughs> this goddamn hoodie. <laughs> As I focused, I realized that he was wearing a really fucking ugly hoodie. <laughs> God. God damn. It's rude to stare, you know. I hastily tore my gaze away from the offending garment and fidgeted nervously. <laughs> He let out a quiet, light-hearted chuff. It's fine. You're on a lot of drugs. Probably won't even remember this anyway. Which one do you think is going to piss him off more? Like, mentioning that he probably was in shows with Strayed. Or just mentioning Strayed. Flat out. Guess we'll just do the top one. He laughed a single, dry bark. A dead man did. You are goddamn right, Tony. A fucking freezer burnt bitch. You know, I used to think he opened my eyes. 
Then I thought he closed them. And now? I realize he didn't do much at all. He may have made the scars, but the scars didn't make me. I did that myself. Well, congratulations on your journey of self-discovery. Just really fucking eat, pray, tortured your way across the world. He laughed again, but this time more heartily. Ah, but I guess it's time for me to go. There's always business to attend to. Wait. Hmm? Why well, are you going to kill me or not, bitch? Well, that's up to chat, isn't it? I thought you were the one in charge. I mean, honestly, though, like, they're his streams. If he decides that he doesn't want to kill me, he should just be like, nah, never mind. I thought you were the boss. Get some rest. Before I knew it, he was gone. I mean... Didn't know you let all these people be the boss of you, Ren. I was alone again in the empty room. I tried to think about what happened, but the mist in my mind closed in again. And I drifted back to sleep. All right, we're awake again. Yay. How about we don't? How about we don't do all of that? Don't, don't shoot me. He leaned in closer to me. You know that's not the answer. What's your name? Fucking Tony. That's all I know. I don't fucking know your name, bitch. You didn't tell me. I don't know. You never said. Oh? You're pretty clever, even when you're all fucked up. But I'm afraid that's still not a correct answer. He pulled the trigger. Fuck you, Ren. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, so we're cutting through the tummy. And it seems like someone may have had a change of heart. My hand immediately froze. I looked up at him, knife still inside me, waiting for that next instruction. But he just stood there. He turned to his screens. No, of course not. Your wish is my... Actually, fuck that. Show's over. Did I manipulate him into letting me live? Like, I thought you were the boss of you. I didn't know that you were the kind of person that just let people uh, dictate what you do and just treat you like the little beta twink that you are. The screen suddenly went dark. I can't see. I felt something grab the knife out of my hands and throw it across the room. I gasped as the wire suddenly released and I fell forward onto my knees. I took in a few ragged breaths as the wire was pulled away from my neck. Dizzy and confused, I felt the shackles around my ankles open. I was pushed onto my back. What's happening? Why did you stop the... the... Shut up. Stop talking. Rude. I heard a knock at the heavy door. You hit the call button, sir? Medics, now. I have two here. The abdomen, stop the bleeding. I want her alive. This one is mine now. I don't know if that's any better. <laughs> I'm not feeling particularly good about this ending either. <laughs> well, I mean, I lived through all three shows, so that's cool. Although I don't under, I don't, I don't know what him keeping me is going to do mean for me like is he gonna try to convert me like he did in boyfriend to death too he was like look at how cool it could be to be a torturer slash murderer nice or is he just gonna like torture me am i gonna like cameo in the shows if he and then if he just gets bored of me just like just kill me off in a show like what does this mean for me bad things all around either way any way that you look at it is bad things you know, I wonder if he still owns Strayed's house. Just like as a memento. Oh, well that's neat. A little stamp. A Ren stamp. Well, I think that is about it. That was horrific. And I'm gonna have nightmares for days. Days and days. <laughs> so I guess this is what the 
the art was supposed to look like. Just no shirt instead of that fucking <laughs> hoodie. <laughs> well, okay, I can't wait for the next installment where, I don't know, our, our good buddy Jack shows up all fucking seven feet of him and just wrecks shit. And I know, I know, he's not part of this series. He belongs to somebody else entirely, but he shows up everywhere. Him and Ren are going to haunt me until the day that I die. Probably at the hands of Ren and Jack. It's going to be interesting to see if there's going to be any more games continuing this series or more DLC, but it doesn't seem like the series is done. And I am curious as to how it is continued. But I hope you enjoyed watching me suffer. If there's any other games that you think I should play, let me know. Although at this point, taking your suggestions most likely has already bought my therapist like a new house. Yeah, let me know and I will see y'all later. Closer than ever You really thought you were clever But you weren't So I'm born uh, Come on, man I can't do this uh, Dude, this sucks What are you doing to me? This is weird Ugh I'm like, on 50 pills, I'm drunk, I don't know what's up, I don't know how I got here, and now this dude's like, the, the fucking bedazzler was not enough, no, now we're at it with the nail gun, are you kidding me, dude, Look, I'm not a house, I'm not a piece of wood. You don't do this to, to me. Or my arm, my leg, none of it. Look, eyes are the window to the soul, I get it. But, you know, windows aside, that does not make me a house. So, I'm not feeling these nails, man. I really, I'm not into this. I gotta say, you know. Not a fan. Not my favorite. Not even top ten. Really. Do we have to be doing this? Like, this is such a waste of, like, your time, my time, and my time has been, like, significantly short from all, like, the cuts and the birds, and all that. Oh, what's he doing now? Oh, c come on! Haven't we done enough? Isn't this enough? Like... What else is there to take off? What have we not done to me at this point? We've done it all. <laughs> I've been there. Is the torch necessary? Like, do you have to be so extra with it? Like, we... The heat gun, or the bedazzler, or whatever that was, was a lot. But, I mean, the whole, the whole torch now, like... I don't even know what to say to that. How did I even get here? What, like, wrong turn did I take on the internet that led me to this situation? What website? So I can never go there again. What forum? Listen. We've been over the name thing. I don't know it. So I don't know how to implore you to cut it out. I know it's not Fox, and I know me sitting here at the screen. I know your name, but I have not been given that information in the context of this little fable. 
so I don't know it. It's not Fox. I know that's half what you are, I still don't get that, but, you know, that's, that, live your truth. I dig it. But, I don't know what to, look, Ralph, Jeff, Tony, I don't know. Tony, listen to me. Tony, it doesn't have to be like this. We could have hung out, had a drink, played some cards, watched a movie, had a nice time, gotten to know you a little, gotten to know me. What do you know about me here? We have not had a fair two-way kind of communication with each other who we are. We know each other in this very limited context of you, like, firing nails into my body. And nut in my eye, I guess. Oh, sorry, that's a girl on the adult round, my bad. I mean, the whole thing's adult. I mean, you had to know it was coming. This is one of those games that, you know, you think of it, it probably went down. So, like, don't worry about that. Spoilers. But, like, my point is, Tony, can I call you Tony? We, there's other ways we could, you know, get to know one another. Person to person. Or person to fox person. Not so sure about that. Not fully informed. Not up to speed on that situation. But I don't judge. What I do judge is you making me take a bite of me. I don't appreciate that. You know, but do we have, come on. Is it like you couldn't afford it? Give me like a like a like a granola bar or something? I only got so much meat, and you know this whole take a bite thing. It's gonna work for like five bites max. I don't got a lot to spare. I kind of need it. You're not thinking long term, buddy. I'm like so mad about all this. You couldn't even keep your hat on for this, like. Is that just your work uniform? We could have tossed hats. We could have tossed fashion. I love that outfit. Looks great. We could have gotten along, Tony. And you had to go fuck all this up. Fuck up, fuck my eye up. That sucks. What did you even put in my back? What 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 did you like carve back there? Can you even draw or does it look like shit? I'm pissed, dude. You know, this isn't the worst thing that's ever happened to me in my, you know, richly lived life, but this is up there. I'm not pleased. I'm not happy. I gotta say. Honest to God. Not loving it. Not thrilled. How could you make me take a bite of myself? You didn't even ask if I was hungry. You didn't even take me out for a fucking meal. Is that a cheap a fucking thing you are, my dude? Fuck. I don't want to pick him up no burger on the way home. He's got food in the house. And it's me. That's not fucking food. What are you talking about? Tony! Give me a fucking break, kid! Shit! What, do, what am I even on? How many pills you got me? I don't even know when I am, dude. Ugh! I'm just so, like, I'm so mad with you right now. And after this, after I've sobered up, maybe you give me a glass of water. I'm gonna tell you exactly how I feel about this. This is not- we are gonna have to sit down and have a conversation, dude. Not cool.